And we are now welcoming in the newest member of the BYU football team. Alongside Jerem Jordan, I'm Spencer Linton. And now Darius Lassiter is on the program. Hey. Joining Fessy Satake's wide receiver core. Darius, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What has the last month, let's say, been like for you as you went into the transfer portal, you assessed all of your options, and ultimately decided on BYU? Um, so when I first entered the uh, transfer portal, um, it kind of it kind of started out crazy. I was kind of hearing from a, a lot of coaches and all that, but um, uh, BYU just kind of stuck out to me. Uh, Fessy just reaching out to me each and every day, uh, just asking me, just talking to my family, just trying to get to know them and all that. So um, I guess that's how me coming to BYU is like really a big part for me, like the family environment and all that. So just being a part of something like that, um, that culture, uh, that's something that I wanted to I wanted to do. Did you have any connections to BYU before? I know as a guy from Chandler, Arizona, certainly maybe there's some guys from Arizona or something. Maybe it's Keaton Slovis. I don't know. Any connections uh, or was it just BYU reached out and then you got to know him? Um, I actually, uh, I knew Micah Harper because uh, we kind of, our school district is kind of in the same area. And then um, Caleb Etienne, uh, we played uh, junior college ball together in uh, Butler. So I, I knew him and I was talking to him like when he committed before. And then he was telling me, come join him because he seen how to answer the transfer portal. So. Nice. So we need to thank Caleb Etienne for getting you to BYU. Very is that nice. what you're telling us? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What are those conversations like when you're talking with Caleb and Micah and you're, you're hearing about BYU? What are they telling you about the program? Um, really, uh, Caleb didn't tell me too much because he hasn't he didn't come on a visit himself yet. Uh, he kind of, kind of came down like a week later. But Micah was just telling me about how, like, just getting a degree from here is something, like, really important. It's going to set you up for life. Um just outside of football, just the benefits um, that come with it, just uh, being at BYU itself. So um, just just being able to have those connections after that I leave BYU is something that, uh, that I'm going to cherish after uh, eventually. And then um, just the history of getting players going to the NFL and then all that. BYU's number one receiver the last couple of drafts has gone to the NFL, and the quarterbacks have as well, and the left tackles have as well. So things are going well offensively. What intrigued you about BYU mm -hmm. besides the family environment? Uh, really just the the offensive scheme. It's like, because this is a real passing offense, I would say. So um, just I kind of seen, like, all the, the love that was going around, like, between the different receivers and how each of them, like, had somebody had a lot of touchdowns or someone might, might have had most of the yards. So um, just being in something that can uh, be able to get me the ball, um, that kind of jumped out to me. And then um, just knowing a quarterback that can be able to sling it around to everybody. Darius Lassiter is on BYU Sports Nation, new wide receiver for the Cougars. You come from an incredible football lineage. Your father, Kwame Lassiter, played in the NFL for three different teams, was a, a notable veteran. Your brother played basically the whole last season on the Cincinnati Bengals practice squad, did see one game and, and got into some time again in the Tennessee game. What does it mean to you to continue on this football tradition as you move to BYU and, and you think about your dad and your brother? Uh, I just, I just really, just really just a blessing um, just to be able to do the things, just watching them, being able to watch my brother uh, at KU uh, just go through the whole process. Um, uh, it was kind of some ups and down years for him, but uh, he stayed strong. Um, just looking up to him, that's really like, uh, since my father's been gone, just he he's been the oldest so looking up to him really just setting a standard and making me want to be better than him each and every year uh, i'm competitive with him so uh every time he has a good year i try to try to be better than him. uh yet you have a dolphin shirt on so what's the story there oh uh really uh i think i just got this shirt from uh from my dad or something like that but yeah i'm not really a dolphin guy um, <laughs> It's all good. It's popular to uh, be a Dolphins fan. Um, at, at 6'3 yeah. and 200 pounds, describe what kind of receiver you are and what BYU fans can get excited about with you. Uh, I feel like that I'm a complete receiver, honestly. Um, 
I, I stretch the field. Um, I run after the catch. I can I can take a slam for a 60. Um, I catch screens. I do chest sweep. Um, and I love getting in a run game. So uh, I feel like personally I have like a complete receiver game. Yeah, there's stuff that I can work on, but as a at the end of the day, I feel like there's nothing I can't really do on the field. Well, I know that the natural comparison in the NFL might be your brother, <laughs> but is there <laughs> another player that you try and emulate or that you would compare yourself to that's in the league right now? Um, somebody that I try to emulate is actually uh, one of his teammates, T. Higgins. Um, just, just how big he is as a receiver, just being able to go up and go get it. Um, and then another player that I kind of look up to is Keenan Allen. Uh, your brother went to Kansas, as you mentioned. You're now going to be in the Big 12 with BYU. How intriguing was the Big 12 element uh, in this recruiting conversation with the Cougars? Uh, just joining the Big 12 and then having history between them. Um, it was it was big. Um, I actually have a brother that's at KU right now. He's going on his last year. Um, so playing him, that's going to be uh, that's gonna wow. Be fun. Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah. so you got another brother that's at KU. You have uh, your older brother, Kwame Lasseter II, has graduated from KU. Any other brothers we don't know uh, about, Darius? How they, who are they going to root for? How are they going to handle this? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually five of us. So um, two, two doesn't play football, and it's just uh, uh, Quentin is the one at KU, and then Kwame is the other one that's at, uh, that plays with the Bengals. So um, it's just us three that play football right now. So. I don't know. I don't know who they're gonna root for, but uh, <laughs> they better. They shouldn't have on all Jayhawks. That's what I can say. Yes, yeah, se September 23rd at Kansas, and that is uh, BYU's first game in the Big 12, which will be pretty mm -hmm. stinking cool. What are your hopes and expectations for uh, this season with BYU as a receiver? Um, I I'd be lying if I say my expectations going to be come here and be an impact uh, week one. Um, that's just kind of the standard that I hold for myself. So um, I feel like I will be uh, a big part of the program winning winning a lot of games this year. Um, uh, just after I learned in the offense, I feel like after that, it's going to be pretty up from here, from there. So, Did you know Keaton Slovis before? Because he's a guy from Scottsdale, and you got uh, two dudes from the Valley of the Sun hopefully connecting for a bunch of touchdowns this year. Um, I actually didn't know him personally, but um, I knew him from playing at BYU. I mean, not BYU, Pitt. Um, so I was watching because I have a teammate that goes there, so I was watching that game. Um, so, no, I really didn't know him, but uh, we kind of connected during the process on the phone and all that. So uh, it was just nice just talking to him and then getting around throwing the ball with him. So that was that was good. So he's already reached out and you've thrown with him already? Uh, yeah, we, we haven't actually, like, thrown completely yet because he, cause he go to California to train and all that. So, uh, But he actually reached out to me uh, a lot of times during the recruiting process before I had committed. So, Darius Lasseter is with us on BYU Sports Nation. I've talked to a number of coaches. Darius, obviously, they love the physicality that you play with, 6'3", 205. They specifically re referenced your strong hands, your catch radius. What's your bis best skill that you bring as a wide receiver? Uh, i probably say just being able to use my body, um, being somebody bigger, uh, being able to get out, get in and out of routes and out of my breaks, um, just winning off the line and then just going to get it. So i probably say uh, just body control, uh, being somebody that's bigger than everybody else. Uh, I, don't, I feel like you don't see as many people like getting out of their rate or their breaks and all that as quickly as I can. BYU played as an independent uh, for the last 12 years. Before that, a group of five team. Now BYU becomes a power five team this year. Coming from a group of five to a team now that is a power five. Is there any kind of chip on your shoulder of something to prove at this level? Because certainly BYU as a team, I get the sense, has that on its shoulder this year saying, hey, we want to feel like we belong and, and show well this year in the first year. Do you feel that individually? Um, I always feel like I have a chip on my shoulder no matter what I do. Um, just being underlooked in high school and then Juco doing the same thing there. Um, I just feel like uh, there's always going to be that chip on my shoulder. My dad always told me to uh, always play like it's your last. So um, that's what I'm going to continue to do. Just moving from group of five to power five, um, I say I don't 
I don't think it's going to be too much different just football-wise. Uh, yeah, the talent's going to be different, but when you're out there playing football, it's all going to be the same. Darius, you've mentioned your father a couple of times who tragically passed away due to a heart attack in 2019. He made some prominent plays, and he means a ton to the Arizona community, helping the Cardinals clinch their first playoff game in 15 years. I think he had four interceptions in that game, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but like just an incredible performance. Yeah. How has he shaped uh, and that tragedy shaped who you are and what you try and do today? Um, actually, yeah. So uh, that was a hard time for us. Um, I kind of wanted to stop playing football at the time, too. But um, I knew that uh, he wanted me to keep going. He wanted me to end it like this. Um, that, uh, that was probably one of the toughest guys that I knew. Um, just how hard he was on us. Um, I just wanted to keep going for him. So... I kind of, I kind of just keep him in my heart each and every day when I go out of there on the field, because um, I know he's there watching me. Um, yeah, so uh, him not being there doesn't necessarily—he's not there in spirit. So. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be watching on September 23rd uh, with Kansas. I, I really do. Yeah. That's cool. And it seems like your brothers have represented um, your dad and your family really well, which is great. Um, what do yeah. you like off the field? What do you like to do? What do you enjoy? What are you into? Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a gamer. I say, um, I'm trying to start getting into golf. Uh, oh, yeah. So my brother. Yeah. So I heard it's a big golfing thing around a uh, Provo. So I'm trying to get into that. Well, let's go. Absolutely. As an Arizona guy, like it's only going to serve you. I mean, there's so many golf courses yeah. down there in Utah. This, Let, let's make this, this happen. This works. This works. Yeah. Hey, Darius, I uh, can't tell you how excited we are to have you as a member of the BYU football team and in the BYU Sports Nation community. Thank you for the time. When do you get here, and uh, when, when can we have you in Studio B? Uh, I get there, uh, like, the first week of June, so anytime after that, I'm all yours. All right, sounds good, brother. Hey, you got a swimming pool in that backyard? Looks nice there, man. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Looks great, dude. Uh, <laughs> Looks great. Hey, enjoy thank that. Uh, again, congratulations on everything. We'll see you soon. All right, thank you. Darius Lasseter on BYU Sports Nation. That's an unbelievable football family. Yeah, and I, you know, what a what a tragedy in 2019 losing his dad. But uh, certainly sounds like his brothers are making the most of their uh, life and experience, and and many of them are like dad playing football, right? You don't always have to do what your dad did, but um, they're doing great. And uh, excited to have Darius at BYU. It's going to be awesome, man.